Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny Cover. If you guys are new here, I pretty much do leak your stock questions and I explain things in the simplest way possible. Today we have a pretty, pretty good problem today. So let's go ahead and read the problem statement. Right? So it says the height of a boundary tree, right? It's the number of edges between the tree's root and its furthest leaf, right? For example, the following boundary trees of height two, right? We can see that because uh, the number of edges to any of the leaf nodes, right? You know what I'm saying. It's the same, right? It's two, right? So that's why we have a height of two guys. So they're all the same uh, distance from, from the root, right? So it doesn't matter what I'm saying. So we would turn two, right? So it could be any of those nodes, right? So, um, yeah, so he says uh, to complete this function that we're going to be given, right? That we're given, we need to write the logic to calculate the height, right? Based on what he just told us, right? And he says, no, the height of a boundary tree with a single node, right? is taken as zero, right? So that's a very good thing that it tells that, right? So that kind of help us crafting our base case right for this problem guys so um yeah so this problem this example is pretty good so you can see that the for this leaf node right from the root right is seven right so easily it's pretty obvious what i'm saying so we do seven uh what i'm saying we turn three right guys because it's three edges right boom 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 right yeah we turn three guys so it tells exactly the example right they colored it for you right so um, yeah, guys, so based on everything that you just told us, right, you know, we can kind of get an idea how we can think about some of this problem, right? Um, especially if you have, um, if you have done, you know, binary tree problems before, right? So, uh, so we could see that, uh, what we're going to have to do, guys, pretty much to solve this problem, right? So we need to get the height of the tree, right? And the height of the tree is the height of the root, right? So, uh, based on those, all those things, guys, let's try to formulate, let's try to come up with a, an algorithm right so um how do we get the height of the root right no hmm. so we need to get the height of this node right so how do we get out of that node we need to get the height of this node right so hmm we need to get the height of my subtrees right and then bring it up right upwards to the every time so yeah so that's exactly what i'm gonna do guys so we're going to calculate the height of every node, guys, that we visit, guys. And as we're doing it, guys, right, we're going to get the maximum height of the left subtree and the right subtree, right? Because we're going to get the height of our children, right? Get the height of the left and the right, right? And we, we use the maximum out of the two, right? We use the maximum, right? And then um, we do plus one, right, to account for itself, right? So, uh, so for this one, right, so the base case is going to be for an empty a uh, node, right? A uh, root is for empty tree, right? I'm saying the height is going to be negative one, right? And then once we have one node, the height is going to be of height zero, right? So, um, height of a single node, right? I'm saying so it, it tells exactly that, guys. So, which is very, very important, right? So, it's so, uh, so one, right? So, what we're going to do, right? It's going to be, you know, recursive, um, function, right? So, pretty much we recursively do it, right? So, for, for this, so we get, we'll get to this node, right? I'm saying that this node would check the it's left and the right child right and then it will see that um they're both null right so they will both return negative one right so negative one from the left side and net negative one from the right side guys so and then now one is going to choose uh, the maximum out of the left or the right right they're both the same height which is negative one since they're both null right so it returns they're both return negative one right and then negative one plus one right to account for that node guys what i'm saying we do plus one to account for every node right and then we do the plus one and once we do that right now negative one plus one gives you zero right so that's why one is going to return zero to two right it's going to say two my height is up um i have a height of two um, of, of zero i mean right out of zero right and then now two is going to check the right side as well and the right side is going to return the same thing because this, this is the same case as this one right so three returns uh, zero to two, right? And then two is gonna choose the maximum out of the two, right? Which is zero or zero, right? And then it's gonna do plus one before it returns it to the uh, to four, right? Because four had called on two, say, yo man, give me your height so I can calculate my height, you know what I'm saying? So, and then a four, right? Uh, goes to, to the right, right as well, right? And then it asks the height. It's like six, yo man, tell me your height, right? And six says, all right, I'm gonna let you know my height. Uh, after I know my height of my children, right? So it's gonna check the left side and the right side, right? And now they both return the same things because it's the same case as this one, right? So six is gonna say, all right, cool. 
I got answers for both of my left and the right, right? Got zero, zero, and then plus one. So yo, my height is one, right? And then four has the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree. And then now a four can make a decision, right? I'm saying, mm, okay, so we do one. So the maximum of the two is one, right? Because they're both one, right? And then I do plus one to account for myself. Uh, yeah, it does one to account for itself, right? And then that's how we do one plus one gives you two. And that's how we get a height of two, guys. So uh, yeah, let's do this other example, right? You know, so this one's pretty uh, good. So this one we turn so one, right? Uh, does the same thing, right? It gets negative one, negative one from the null children, right? And a does plus one. So now we get a height of zero, right? So one has a height of zero, guys. What I'm saying, which is consistent with what they said, right? The height of a single node is like zero. I'm saying, and a binary tree is, uh, I'm saying, zero. I'm saying. So, um, so now one, right, returns to two, right? So it's two. My height is zero, so two is like cool. Two returns one to three, right? Say so yo, my height is of height. Um, my height is one, right? And then five, three goes to five. So yo, tell me your height so I can calculate my height, right? And five does the same thing. Uh, ask uh, left side, right? So four returns zero. And then six checks, right? And then seven returns zero to six. Six returns one to five. Five chooses zero or one, right? And five. It's gonna obviously choose one because one is greater, and then because we want you know the bigger height, right? Because so we can calculate our height. You know what I'm saying, uh, and then we do five, five plus. I mean, now uh, so we get one from six, right? One plus one gives you two, and then five returns two to three, right? Then three is gonna choose between one or two. Two is obviously greater, right? So we do two um, plus one gives you three, right? That's how we get a height of three, guys. So. That's how it works, guys. So let's go. Hopefully, get a little bit to follow the thought process, guys. So let's try to go ahead and code that up, right? This should, should be relatively straightforward now. So we're going to use a helper function, guys. You don't have to use a helper function. You can use this function that's on the end. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's like doing that like that. You know what I'm saying? Keep it consistent with the leak code ones. So we use a helper function, right? So it's going to take the node as input, right? The root node, right? And then we have our base case, guys, which we, we talked about. So root equals equals to uh, null, right? It's a null node, right? Then we're going to return white guy. We're going to return negative one guys, right? I'm saying. Uh, and then now, if it's not a null node, right? We're going to recursively check our left side and right side, right? I'm saying. Right side, all right, cool. And uh, left. We check the left side, we check the right side. They return, guys, the maximum out of the two guys, what I'm saying, the, all of our left side or right side, right? And then we do plus one to account for that particular node that we're on, right? And then, um, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape now. Let's press run code, see if we got some, okay? Let's press submit. But all test cases awesome guys we'll put it past all the test cases guys so i want to thank you guys for watching this video uh really means a lot guys so um thank thank you for watching and um yeah if you guys are new here subscribe uh and yeah see you guys in the next one